What's up, YouTube? For today's video, this is going to be your guide on how to use Roaring Moon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a moveset you think is pretty cool that you haven't seen in today's video or that's working well for you, let me know about it in the comment section. And without further ado, let's get into it. This Pokemon is absolutely stacked. Look at that attack stat and speed, and even its health stat is very, very nice, and its special defense stat. So with these humongous stats here, this makes for a very, very good Dragon Dance physical sweeper. This is going to be like the set that it mostly always uses, uh, in my opinion. So first off, we've got a Jolly Nature. I've got a max speed and max attack out of a nature. Uh, with the uh, Jolly Nature, that actually gets it up to a pretty nice speed stat and with the attack stat there you still got dragon ants to increase uh, its attack and uh, speed at the same time and say you got a revenge KO or Pokemon it's still very fast enough to be able to do that and probably the worst thing about a uh, roaring moon is it's typing like four times weak to fairy B. you can always change that you know with a terror type so I've given it the item boost energy now, Boost the Energy is such a good item on this Pokemon, not only because it does give it its uh, plus one there in its speed, right, or attack, however you want to. You could, you could do something like this too, if you wanted to dip it back just by one, you could do that. But with Dragon Ants, I guess it doesn't really matter so much. So that'd be up to what you want to do there with uh, Jolly and Anna, but I'd say with Jolly, um, that would be the best one to go for. But anyway, back to what I was saying, uh, you can get your plus one there. And with the Acrobatics, um, that's going to consume your item and that's going to make this double base power, which is going to do a lot of damage there. And you can go Terra Flying on there, which is going to be very, very powerful sort of move. Um, I've also given this one Earthquake, which is really, really nice there. That allows you to hit any steel type Pokemon and you've also got crunch as well another option you could use on here if you didn't want to use like uh, acrobatics here you could also go Dragon Claw that's another option but uh, you know you go your Terra into uh, Dragon too which is like really quite nice but having booster energy and acrobatics is like really really powerful you know especially if you've got a Terra flying you know that's pretty good, you know, so let me know what you do for your terrors and stuff, but I, I see the Terra Flying one being very, very good uh, for sure there. Um, you could go Terra Dark or Dragon if you wanted to as well. Earthquake's just there to hit your Steel-type Pokemon. Uh, let's go over a couple other options here. I'll just bring up the physical moves to some other uh, more thoughts on the Dragon Dance set. Uh, so just having a look here, there's not too much else. You do have Iron Head here, that is to be noted, so you could definitely go Iron Head. Now, another set that I've run which can work as well on this if you don't want to go down uh, having a dark type move, you could have Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Iron Head, and you could mix it up to go Terra Steel. That's quite a good Terra on this Pokemon, obviously because you got that big four times weakness of Fairy, so it can come in there and then hit really, really hard back with Iron Head. Plus, Iron Head does have a 30% flinch chance, so you know, you can get around those Pokemon. Now, let's say. Let's say, for example, there you didn't. You could you could probably almost forego Dragon Claw and give it Crunch as well. It sort of depends on what coverage you want, but I don't know. Like it's up to what coverage you want, and of course what Pokemon are on your team. There, Earthquake's just very handy for any Steel type Pokemon because you know uh, Steel types like to come into Dragon type Pokemon uh, unless you've got a coverage move. Then you're usually going to be okay there. So. Sort of up to you what you want to do there, either Dragon Claw or Crunch, but I can definitely see this set working too, as well as the uh, yeah, the acrobatic set is just nice because you use up boost energy straight away, which makes it like insanely powerful, you know? And uh, after a Dragon Ants, it is just hitting so hard. So let's say, for example, you were... We'll go back and just compare this, right? It's nice to like compare things and just sort of uh, talk about these things. So we'll get rid of... Let's say, for example, we'll give the acrobatics. Now... You get your boost of energy, right? Which is going to give you a plus one here in attack. If you've got these, uh, this EV spread here going. Then you get your Dragon Ants up. So you've got plus two in attack, plus one in speed. Acrobatics is going to be hitting so hard, right? The only Pokemon that can really get around this would be Steel Types. Uh, rock types, you know, they're going to be your main sort of uh, counters there. And you know, Earthquake covers both of them. You know, it's going to be doing heaps of damage. And then really... T to be fair, like dra you could you could do Dragon Claw, you could do Crunch, you could do like you could just pick your coverage move there. Dragon Claw isn't going to be used as much as you think there, especially if you go on that set because it's going to be more powerful, especially if you're doing you know Terra Flying type and stuff like that. But definitely something to think about there. Uh, that's 
I'd say that's going to be like the best sort of set there. The Dragonets one is going to work really, really nicely across uh, any sort of team you're doing, whether it's going to be singles, doubles, etc. Now, something to note here as well. Um, even though there's a Dragon Ant set that works well, don't overlook the Choice Band set because this has got some very, very good potential at hitting like extremely hard. Now, we've got Choice Band here in Adam and Nature with its enormous attack stat. That's just going to be hitting very, very hard. I've given it uh, Crunch, Dragon Claw, Iron Head, and Earthquake. These, that's almost near perfect coverage, like mostly, uh, especially to its weaknesses. So, like any. Fairy types, you know, come in. Uh, steel types come in. You've got opposing dragon types, of course, stab, and you've got crunch as well. So that's pretty good all around there. I, I quite like that. Now, as for the choice band, you could uh, swap it up here for Jolly if you want a little bit more speed there. Um, but there's sort of the idea with the choice band set, you're going to be hitting as hard as possible. So its speed isn't like it, it's not super super amazing so you might get outsped and stuff like that that's about the only thing you have to worry about i've gone terra steel on this so you can go same as the other one I, I talked about before not the acrobatics one the uh the other sweeping set there um i've, I've done that with uh, steel and it works quite nice you're gonna you're not gonna know what pokemon is gonna come into and you know be able to outspeed you so sort of just time your terra there and go uh go from there but i said like either one of these will work well jolly will work well you just, you won't hit as hard you're better off honestly if you're going to do a jolly set on this with choice band you're better off just doing dragon ants really for damage output if you just want insane attack and damage output bam straight away i'd use adam and that that's my that's sort of my uh, final thoughts on there for sure now on the topic of choice items you could also have choice scarf but the thing about running these choice items is you've got access to dragon ant so a lot of the time you probably won't need to do that and yeah you could you could run this here as a choice scarf set to straight up you've got your max attack there and you've got the 1.5 boost from my uh, choice scarf which would be you know nice too so it can be outspending most things that could definitely work it's then when you get like sort of lock into one move oh you've gone for a you know, you've gone for a dragon type move. Oh, in comes a fairy, you know, so you have to swap it out. So most of the time, I'd say the the D-Dance one is going to be your best option all the time there for sure. Now, you can run this in a combination here as well. I'm just going to uh, delete this for a sec. Um, any sort of uh, dragon dancing Pokemon. Like, I, I, this is like the easy... If you just want an easy win here, I'll show you how to do it. So if you just have something like... You've got Cyclers, all right? You could get like a shed tail off very, very easily and then just give the substitute to uh, Roaring Moon and this Dragon Dance behind it, you know? It's very, very easy. Um, you get at least one, sometimes maybe even two there. And yeah, you're going to absolutely just like absolutely dominate teams. This Pokemon is so, so good in its offensive stats there. I'm trying to compare it to Salamence. Salamence works a little bit different than this. I actually think. I think this is. Uh, I believe this is better than Salamence, and I'll, I'll say that it actually is better than Salamence as a, a Dragon Dance sweeper. Um, Salamence does have Moxie, which is good there, but it needs it sort of needs that uh, you know, initial Moxie to get going. But uh, yeah, this is still very very good too. Like they're, they're both they're both very similar. They're both very very good uh, Dragon Dance sweeping Pokemon. Like Salamence is probably better as it gets going, and uh, with uh, with this one here, it's a little bit um, I think it's probably better early game rather than late because you know. Acrobatics is very strong there with boosted energy at the start, where the Salamence, once it gets its Moxies going, it's very good too. So they, I guess they're, they're similar, but they're uh, not, not similar in that way. But both very good Pokemon. Anyway, i just like to compare it with Salamence. Um, so next one here we got, this is a little bit more of a fun set here, of course. I've probably given you the most competitive sets there uh, for Roaring Moon. This is a Troll Flinching set. Now, on my channel, I like to explore all sorts of move sets. I, I like to look at the competitive ones. I like to look at some fun trolling ones and some, you know, absolutely terrible move sets as well. Uh, just for a little bit of fun, you know. Um, so, let's have a look at this one. So, I gave it all of the moves that it can get that are flinches. And uh, we've got Stab uh, we've got stab Bite for 30% uh, chance flinch. We've got Iron Head for 30% chance. I've given it Dragon Rush as well. Dragon Rush is mostly a terrible move with 75% actually, but its base power is nice. So with the wide lens, that's going to give it a 10% uh, boost there. So it's going to bump it up, uh, you know, at, at least a little bit, you know, so which is going to be nice. So putting it into the 80%, which is cool. And uh, we've got Zen Headbutt too, which is good because obviously it's weak to fighting types too. So you've got that Zen Headbutt, you know, you've got that Stab Dragon Rush can flinch 20% chance, 30% chance of flinch there for any fairies and 30% chance. So you can just keep spamming this too. You, I mean, you 
you could slot in Dragon Dance if you really wanted to. You could probably take away Zen Headbutt. That's not so important. You could still go for Dragon Rush. But yeah, a bit of a uh, little bit of a troll set here. Uh, I've set this one up virtually exactly the same in EV spread as the Dragon Dancing one. This is, in my opinion, is a superior uh, uh, EV spread for it. So we've got Max Speed and Max Attack, uh, Jolly Nature. And yeah, you can go from there and give this one a go with all the flinching moves. It's uh gets quite a lot of them, which is kind of interesting in my opinion. Now, I thought, having a look at this Pokemon, how can we do a mix? Uh, so when you're... If you played competitive for a while, I'm, um, I'm sure you've, uh, especially back in the generations, I've, I'm sure you've used the mix mints before, a mix salamance, right? So I tried to have a, uh, a little go here and see what we could come up with here. So I've given it Rosalie Berry, which is going to power down those super effective uh, fairy type moves. Sort of a little bit by like a uh, Yaki Berry salamance. So it's a bit of a throwback to that. So we've got acrobatics, of course, there. And we're going to be giving this one. I was actually going to give that Terra Flying, actually. But yeah, we've got our Dark Pulse here. And we'll get rid of Terra Blast there. So this one is a Terra Flying. Where we got the flying there? So yeah. So we got the Acrobatics, which is going to be sort of similar to the Dragonet set. We've got Dark Pulse and we've got Dragon Claw. Now the EV spread is Max Special Attack and Max Speed Mild Nature. So we don't want to drop that attack. So I know its attack is still better than its Special Attack because it's horrendous. But I just wanted to try something a little bit different. So we've got... Let's see its options here for some more special moves. So, we've got Dragon, we've got Dart, we've got Flying. It'd be nice to hit Fairies, you know. That'd, that'd be that'd be really, really good to be out here hit Fairies. But I don't... It's not like we got Flash Cannon or anything like that. So, we might have to... We, we could come back there and give it a Iron Head. That's an option too. But I want to give it, like, another special move. You know what? We're kind of not doing a lot to steal, so let's throw on Fire Blast there. So there we go. We got a, a mix. I guess you could call it a mix mints or a mix Roaring Moon here. It's very, very bad on the special side. I, I wouldn't recommend using this unless you're just messing around, doing some, you know, some fun little move sets and stuff like that. And yeah, the obvious fairy type comes in. You give him a couple of hits there, and uh, you get rid of your uh, item to go for the uh, big acrobatics there and uh, terror flying. So that'd be that's that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, there's a a mix uh, roaring moon set. Let's have a look at a fully special one here. So I went over its. Uh, Horrible, horrible special attack and went over its kind of very barren special attacking move. So I've got a Throat Spray set here. So we've got Throat Spray and Hyper Voice, which would definitely work there. You can activate that. Uh, you can also go for Terra Fire as well, which would be nice. I'd be very terrified. So when there's a uh, incoming fairy type move, you can go into fire, you know, resist that. And then you can go for your only attacking move where it's going to be like uh, probably Fire Blast. Yeah, so that's about the only move that's going to do probably the most damage. So... You've got that steel typed. You've got your dragon type move there as well uh, for stab, and you've got snarl as well to also activate throat spray. So if you know you didn't want to use uh, hyper voice, you could go for that too. So there's two options there to activate your item, and we've got a modest nature this time and max speed. So there goes something a little bit different for uh, roaring moon on the special side now. This is a little bit of a fun set too. I actually tried this out, and it worked to a uh, like extent, right? The one thing I like a lot about Roaring Moon is its health stat. That's 105 bases. That's not something to be ignored, right? So I thought, how about I make a really bulky trapping set here? Now, I noticed it got Roost, which is really cool. So we can like actually take advantage of that. And it's also got Breaking Swipe, too. So you could probably use Breaking Swipe in uh, you know in doubles and stuff like that. So like but this is more of a single set. But you could run it in doubles if you wanted to. Like a bulky support set with Roost and Breaking Swipe. That's a like a, a definite idea for some doubles there. So I've given it Roost uh, to get, obviously, my health back there. Breaking Swipe to drop the opponent's attack by one. Fire Spin to trap them in and to do damage at the, uh, obviously, at the end of the turn there. And I've given it Grip Claw, too. So that means uh, with the Grip Claw, Fire Spin is always going to last seven turns, which is nice. So seven turns of damage. And we've got Snarl there as Stab and to drop the opponent's special attack. So we're essentially dropping their attack and their special attack. They cannot swap to reset their stats and trapping them in with Fire Spin, doing extra damage there and roosting off all damage. So not a bad little troll set there if you want to uh, uh, give that one a go. Definitely not a good set by all means, but I can see it, you know, against the right Pokemon swapping it in there. I think you're really going to shut them down and, you know, make someone quite salty, you know? And, uh, yeah, with its, with its uh, Terror, 
Look, you could go Terra Dragon, or you could even do Terra Fire. You know that that would be a, a, another option you could use there. Actually, Terra Fire that wouldn't be too bad. So off the fire spin uh, sort of thing there, that would uh, be okay. Or yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. I, I doubt you'd. I honestly doubt you'd be tearing this Pokemon. There'd probably be a much better Pokemon on your team to go for a Terraform. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it here for those sets that I uh, quickly... Uh, I, I did make up a little bit earlier on. I'm going to do another look here on Roaring Moon here. Because as I said, I like to go over every moveset and option I can. And you know, just air some thoughts out and see what you think about that. So we're going to quickly have a look at its physical set here. Um, there is other options for Dragon and dark here so it does have jaw lock now jaw lock isn't bad here and it's also got night slash now i made a pretty cool set here uh with uh like an actual critting set so i, I want to show you that one right here so it's got focus energy which is good and you can give it scope lens too so scope lens will and focus energy after using it will give it perfect 100% crit, right? So 100% crit coming off Roaring Moon is going to be uh, it's going to be no joke, right? So it's going to be hitting really really hard. Let me give that the same sweeping EVs you would before. Just just drop the last one as special defense or defense for uh, um, stealth rot reasons and stuff like that. And what I'm going to do here, so Night Sash is great. Is there any other moves here we can actually give it they got a crit chance? Now we got Stone Edge, that's another one there. So that's a bit of bit of coverage, you know. That that's not all that bad. And we've also got Shadow Claw too. Yeah, I don't know about Shadow Claw. That's not the greatest coverage in the world. Let, let me just see what we got here. Uh, there's there's really not much else I could probably use it. I'd like like a maybe maybe a dragon type move there. So yeah, that that that's that's about it. So you could probably just whack on Dragon Claw there. Or you could just... Another thing I was thinking here. So Night Slash, maybe like Fairy type Pokemon. That'd be a problem. You could... I don't know, it'd be... It'd, I'll, I'll be like, honestly, it'd be nice to get Dragon Dance and Focus Energy happen. But that's a lot of setup. So you're probably not going to be able to get that every single time. So this is just going to be purely 100% critting sort of set, right? So yeah, we'll go back to that. Stone Edge isn't bad because it's got a high crit rate, high damage output. So that's still going to do some good damage. And we've also got Shadow Claw too. You know what? We're not going to make it a dragon type. We're going to completely forget about dragon because it doesn't. There's not really much there to uh, use for the uh, dragon critting site. I don't think. I'll just have one last look at it. So no, no dragon at all that we can. Okay, so we got dragon claw, dragon tail, outrage. Yeah. Okay. That's that's kind of like that's actually kind of nice. I've I've just sort of a good move set idea for a second, but yeah, we'll, we'll finish this one off. So I've got uh, shadow claw there. Okay, so we've got Shadow Claw. So we've got lots of critting moves there. I really don't know what that's going to hit. Like, Shadow Claw is not going to really do much for that set. So maybe it'd just be better off giving it uh, Dragon Claw on there. So yeah, even though it's, it's, it's still got a it's still got a good chance of actually critting there, you know, even though it doesn't have a uh, crit chance. So it's still got a 50% chance of crit there, 100% and 100%. So that could be all right, you know. Um, you, you'd you be doing something a little bit different. So you'd be bypassing, say if you had a Pokemon that set up like, you know, iron defenses and stuff like that. Well, this set would get past it where the Dragon Dance one would struggle. It'd have to get all those boosts up. So just a little bit more of a different spin on Roaring Moon there for a critting set. Now, another physical one I wanted to try out, which I thought would be pretty cool. Obviously, this is a bit more of a gimmick. So we've got um, loaded dice here. So we've got loaded dice and we've got scale shot. Mm, scale shot, right? So scale shot is gonna land four times, hundred percent. We still got hundred power minimum, right? So that's kind of nice. That could that could easily be one hundred twenty five as well. So we've got dragon dance here as well. So that's gonna be nice. So we got uh, dragon. Sh uh, sorry, scale shot, dragon shot. That'd be a pretty cool move. Dragon shot. That'd be cool. So we got dragon dance and uh, scale shot, which is good. And we want to give it. Crunch and Jawlock. That's the thing about Jawlock or Crunch. Crunch would be okay. This is this is this is the difference. So Crunch would be good for dropping the opponent's defense, whereas Jawlock would be great against like going for Jawlock, trapping a Pokemon in that cannot basically do anything, and then going for Dragon Ant. So that's sort of what you are you sort of up against there. So I'm just comparing to that one there. So we got Crunch would be alright to hit other. I think Earthquake is sort of like a must on this set. Really is a must, Earthquake, for Steel-type Pokemon and, and, and you know, other stuff like that. So, yeah, and we'll go Jolly again. That's always kind of nice there. So, that's not a bad set, you know. 
that could hit really, really hard. And you'd be, I know you'd be getting those defense drops, but the idea would be to go for the Dragon Dance and the spam scale shot. Uh, obviously, the problem with it is accuracy. You know, we've got 90%, but... Yeah, uh, that would be still a little bit of a fun set there with loaded dice if you really want to go for Scale Shot. If you want to be a Mega Troll too, you could go King's Rock. But the problem about doing King's Rock on this is Scale Shot could only hit two times and you may not roll your... There's a high chance you're not going to roll your flinch, you know. So that's something to think about there as well. Let's have another look here. Every single little option I like to look at. Let's have a look at the status moves there. So Dragon Dance obviously is very good. We've got Tailwind as well. We've got Taunt. This Pokemon is fast enough to taunt, actually. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe on like a speedy set here. Hear me out on this one. Okay. So we've got Dragon Tail. Ooh. So this could be... This could be coupled nicely with the Stealth Rock Pokemon. So we've got Taunt and Dragon Tail. That's pretty nice. And we can just give it... Hmm. Jawlock, maybe? Yeah, maybe something like Jawlock. It's just to give it some, like, co coverage. And we got, like, leftovers as well. Or, yeah, you could give it the... You could give it, um... Where are we at again? You could give it Rosalie Berry as well. That would be another option. Or you could just, you know, change your type into, into Dragon. Actually, Rocky Helmet wouldn't be too bad there. Go Rocky Helmet. So, yeah, this, is, this would be an interesting sort of phasing set. Like, a bulky phasing set. Actually, I probably wouldn't even use that. I, I'd, I'd go more defensive on this set, as a matter of fact. Yeah, so this will be like more of a defensive Roaring Moon, which is kind of cool, you know? So you could uh, get those Stealth Rocks up on there, and then you could drag a tail and draw lock and do some damage there. Um, draw lock stops the swap, so we might just change that up the crunch there. Okay, so that's better. So we got like Crunch and Dragon Tail, and then we got Roost and Healing Up and stuff like that. Any sort of Pokemon that want to set up, you can drag a tail them, or you can just give them a taunt. So. I, I can see some sort of variant of that working because it, it does have good bulk when you think about like all around bulk. Now, as for counters, any fairy type Pokemon are going to counter our friend Warring Moon here for sure. Now, most of the time, I'd say it's either going to go to a, a, a dragon, a dark, or I just see that flying set working really well, you know? So anything like that, any anything along those lines are going to be really good. So like, let me... Let me give it a couple of examples here. So, like, Grimstar's going to be annoying against it as well because it can set up those screens and then hit hard back with, like, um, you know, like Spirit Break. That's going to be a problem there. Uh, you know, like, Reflect Sets. Very, very annoying. They're gonna, you, it's going to be difficult to get around there in one shot. So, you can get that up and then hit hard back. Uh, unless you've changed your type, of course, with Terra. Uh, and another good Pokemon that would work well with this. I'm just thinking of good... Uh, good partners at the moment so Grimmsnarl as well I'm just thinking Grimmsnarl makes kind of a good partner as well as well as a good uh you know as, as well as a good Pokemon there it could um it could easily be quite good for swapping in there or just being a good partner so you could get the screens up you could get it uh you could get it screens up there quite easy we've got stuff like you know we've got stuff like uh parting shot uh, we'll just go like spirit break or whatever like that. So yeah, it could it could um it could set these up kind of nicely there, and uh, you know get you could go away then and start you know dragon dancing up after this is set up. So you know just a typical grim snarl lead we've we've seen like a hundred times. So that could definitely easily work there uh, for sure as a good uh, sort of counter there. Uh, so this is also weak to like uh, po uh sorry uh, fighting and you know fairy. So obviously our friend Toxapex is going to make a great sort of partner for it. You know. So yeah, that would uh, that wouldn't be very fun uh, bumping into that sort of combination or core there. So that would be another one. What else we got here? We got uh, Clodsai here. Now Clodsai isn't all that bad. Uh, it's got a big uh, special defense stat, and a lot of the uh, a lot of the moves that are going to be fired at um, this, I believe, would be like Moonblast and Dazzling. Flame. There will be some like play rough and things like that as well. But uh, Clodsai would be you know sort of like great Pokemon as a uh, a, a partner there too you know that that worked really really well but uh yeah as for doubles i mean we'll have a quick look at here at doubles i like to show uh, singles and doubles but uh let me just have a quick little look here. if there's anything extra i can add like you could definitely uh, you could definitely use this as a dragon ants pokemon for sure um in in doubles let me just put that on so it does get rock slide too 
So that could be another good move. Or, or Earthquake, you know, it's, it's got some it's got some um some good sort of like uh, spreading moves here to use in doubles, which is which is great, you know. I'm just trying to think what else we can really do here with it that's just purely based on doubles. But yeah, so this sort of like moves like this uh, would work well there. Um, you'd probably like rock side would be good. I mean, you could tear it into a rock type if you really want to make that um make that uh, you know rock slide really powerful. Um, that'd be very very good. I mean, it's got the speed, you know, so it, it wouldn't be out of it. You could you could almost use it as like a pseudo Garchomp. I guess you could say like that would definitely be handy there so getting those uh flinches off and yeah that'd be something like that just a dragonet's uh pokemon there and uh, maybe change its terror around to rock or whatever you like on the set there anyway people i think that's about it for roaring moon like summarizing this pokemon is a brilliant dragon dancer and a very very threatening pokemon so make sure you've got a fairy type there and yeah or just a very bulky pokemon to swap into it uh screen screeners and uh any pranks of pokemon with will or whistle just burn it or status it those sort of things will uh, you know shut it down there so you can you can feign it that's about it people i hope you enjoyed this guide i'll be back with some more tomorrow we've almost done all the paradox pokemon too all right peace out <laughs>